Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is uh, part two of the Arduino Brain Interface Project. Uh, Do-it-yourself hack of the uh, MindFlex receivers. So, uh, recently some uh, new traffic to the channel, care of uh, YouTube. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Eric. Um, hope you like what you see. got here is uh, I took the Arduino Uno and uh, hooked it up from the previous video I ran out the, uh, the connector unfortunately I don't have a, a mating connector for that right now so I use some male one millimeter pins and some cat5 uh, solid core Ethernet cable just because I have a whole roll of it ran it back to the Arduino Uno and uh, what I did from there is uh, I took and I know this is going to be really lousy videoing a screen, but this is the uh, the Uno sketch. Um, this is you just do a search for Arduino uh, brain interface or the MindFlex Arduino, and you'll you'll find this sketch. It's on multiple pages. Anyway, um, what I'll do is I'll plug in the Arduino. We're going to get some data flowing there now. We're showing we're receiving, and we'll go back up here touch and we'll click on the serial interface and let's see what we get hopefully ha, with any luck that is serial data coming from the different brain waves uh, from the MindFlex headset and uh, the Arduino is just doing a stellar job at decoding the serial data at 9600 baud couldn't ask for any better than that you get about one per second one sample per second resolution on these not the fastest but uh, for the price point and for this project they're gonna do just fine so I'm gonna uh, see if I can get a graphic display of this setup and we'll continue from there so uh, I haven't quite got the graphical version to work yet but uh, I thought I'd capture this before I forget to save someone else that grief what I did was uh, I downloaded the uh, the Brain Grapher program and the um, bear with me the <laughs> what's the name of the program again processing downloaded processing and uh, the Brain Mapper I believe it's called uh, Brain Grapher. Uh, sketch for it. This thing is remarkably like Arduino. I, I've never used softing or uh, I've never used processing before. So, anyway, uh, what it did is it came up with the uh, a library missing actually, and I'm familiar with that with Arduino. So uh, it came up with this Control P5. So I downloaded it and I tried to install it. Didn't have any luck. Um, and then brilliant. <laughs> How about we just go to import? add library and this is not like Arduino this allowed me to filter by all the ones available and download them from the internet so uh, way cool you can see uh, all I did was type in control there it is blam uh, the library problem is solved so now I've just got to get the serial com to display on there and we're good to go well, having a little bit of trouble here getting this to work. Uh, what I have is the, the softing program open. Um, all downloaded, got the library imported, everything looked good. What it tells you to note your COM port in the index. So with it default, with my COM port, it didn't do anything. So this digit here I found if I change that to a 1 instead of a 0, that seems to... Well, I could see Arduino talking. Um, I'm getting data moving, uh, but I can't seem to... This is what I get on the display if I pull up the graph. When you hit Run in processing, I get nothing. So. Anyway, I'm going to keep working through it. thought I'd show that. Hopefully I can find the solution. So I uh, moved to the 32-bit version. No difference. Moved back to the 
the 64 and uh, discovered it's quite just as simple as putting the darn thing on your head. So uh, when it's not hooked up and actually receiving a half decent input to the chip, you get nothing. <laughs> Who would have known? I would have thought I would pick up some interference or something of that nature. This is on my head right now, live. Um, you see my attention is pretty much max of the scale when I'm sitting here uh, a few seconds ago uh, before I started the video it's it's down to nothing same with the meditation it's pretty easy for me to put those right down at the bottom I guess I'm pretty relaxed but uh, anyway uh, I don't get the graphs at the top but uh, I'm getting the raw data as I showed before uh, too cool uh, unbelievable and oddly enough uh, I do some do some math or focus on um, just looking at the keyboard and doing some math with just the the number keys and it, it puts it puts the attention right through the roof so um, I have to say I, I think it's actually working um, thoroughly impressed um, obviously some random blips depending on what I'm thinking about and what I'm uh, trying to process uh, just simply too cool Anyway, uh, this is just the beginning of a, a long and fun project, but uh, that's how it's done. That's, uh, that's the, uh, the Arduino uh, brain interface in a nutshell, fully functional. I'm, I'm just super excited about this. can't believe it. Anyway, thanks for watching.